Not everybody's day goes according to plan. A lot of people, when their day falls apart, go online and share what's happened. I share their stories with you. Epic Fails on Rock 107. Have you heard about the lonesome loser? He's a loser, but he still keeps on trying. I took the bus to work. A sweet old lady got on after and sat next to me. Halfway there, she fell asleep, her head on my shoulder. I gently tried to wake her up before my stop. She wasn't sleeping. I let a dead woman lie on me for 30 minutes. You're already a loser. I texted my college boyfriend to tell him how terrible I felt about cheating. He replied saying he was so relieved because he'd been cheating on me with a girl in his dorm. I was talking about my math test. You are one pathetic loser. Their lack of success makes us feel better about our lives. Epic fails on Rock 107. My friend had to take my cat who has a tumor to be put down when I wasn't home since I couldn't bear to take him myself. I have two cats. He took the wrong one. Loser. Their defeat is our victory. Epic fails on Rock 107. My family got into an argument with me because I bought the wrong kind of cheese. They never said what kind they wanted. The argument ended with my mother saying she wished she could kill herself because of how horrible of a person I am. Over cheese. You're a loser. A lazy, obnoxious loser. I learned that you can't fool the self-checkout scanner by taking six items and only paying for two. If you try this, two big security guards will take you by the arms to a back office. You're a loser. I announced to my friends that I'd proposed to my girlfriend and she said yes. I thought they'd be happy for me since they were the ones who put us together and introduced us. Instead, they were flabbergasted. One told me, you realize we set you up with that chick as a joke, right? Texting and drinking is never a good idea. We've all done it, and we've all regretted it. The drunken texts you forgot you sent. Prospectors collected them in Texticated on Rock 107. From area code 239 in Naples, Florida. I'm supposed to be at work in 10 minutes. I just woke up 45 minutes away. Tinder for the win. From New Haven, Connecticut, area code 203, I just saw a man pushing two thirties of beer in a stroller while his little kid ran to keep up. Father of the year. Ocean City, New Jersey, area code 609. I felt like I should have driven him home, but I was holding in a fart and I just needed him to leave. You hit send and we hit the floor laughing in Texticated on Rock 107. Concord, New Hampshire, area code 603. I'm pretty sure the rest of my evening will consist of drinking tequila and watching children's movies. Hashtag mom life. Birmingham, Alabama, area code 205. I just kept pointing at random people and telling the bartender, put it on their tab. Area code 914, Westchester County, New York. I woke up under a table with a huge sombrero, a box of 120 donuts, and a bloody nose. It all screams success. Hey, we found him in your telephone. In Texticated on Rock 107. From Augusta, Maine, area code 207. I'm going to live freely with my legs opened and my heart closed. Area code 513, Cincinnati, Ohio. I hate the Colts so much, I wouldn't cheer for them if they were playing Al-Qaeda. And from area code 612, Minneapolis, Minnesota. You texted me last night that you invented a new food cheeseless grilled cheese congratulations you made toast proof that booze and cell phones don't mix in texticated on rock 107 their episode of one minute inside a woman's head halloween is on a weeknight this year that's so strange i guess i'll be able to watch dancing with the stars on disney plus oh wait trick-or-treaters will be coming can i dvd a stream Oh, well, maybe there'll be some hot dads with the trick-or-treaters. Why do the dads have to stand so far back? It's so hard to see the ring fingers at that distance. I could say, come closer, I don't bite. 
but that sounds kind of trampy. Remember last year when those teenage boys came to the door dressed as famous YouTubers? Yeah, not a lot of work went into those costumes. But hey, they did tell me I was kind of hot. Wait, why did they have to say kind of hot? And that was another episode of One Minute Inside a Woman's Head. And now it's time for another episode of A Few Seconds Inside a Man's Head. <sighs> she makes me watch the game in the basement so she can watch Dancing with the Stars on the big TV upstairs. Oh, wait. <laughs> She'll get stuck dealing with the trick-or-treaters this year. <laughs> and that was another episode of A Few Seconds Inside a Man's Head. Life's pretty tough right now. There's plenty of bad news, but it's not all bad. It's time for the brighter side of Prospector on Rock 107. A woman in Australia secured grant money to have an AED machine installed at two ferry stops on a river near her home. Those are the machines that can save your life if you have a heart attack. And her husband is glad she did because one of them just saved his life. He had a heart attack while they were waiting for a ferry, and he would have died without it. And he'd never had any heart issues prior. Thanks. We needed that. The brighter side of Prospector on Rock 107. You've seen people do this before, and you know it really means, hey, F you. Good morning. I'm Rock 107's Prospector. When stories like this hit the news, it's usually for something small, like a speeding ticket. Not this time. A welding company in Colorado called JMF Enterprises recently was sued by another company called Fired Up Fabrication. They claimed JMF didn't pay them for a job and eventually settled for $23,500. But now they're back in court after JMF tried to pay by sending them over six tons of loose change. Six tons. A flatbed truck showed up at those lawyers' offices with a box full of quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies all mixed together. The lawyer described it as a big, well, you know. At first, I thought, you've got to be kidding me. And then we had to go through the logistics. Again, it's showing you pennies, quarters, dimes. In our pleadings, we called it the figurative middle finger, just to acquire that many took effort. But then to open them all up and dump them into a container, that is not just trying to pay a bill. Right. And that settlement agreement didn't specify how they had to pay. So that lawyer thought, hey, they'll have to accept it. But the other lawyer, as you just heard, refused and instead filed another lawsuit. Now they may have to pay more. JMF claims they were not being malicious or trying to waste anyone's time. Yeah, right. But if the judge disagrees, they'll have to pay an additional $7,000 in attorney's fees. Red October is over and there will be no red November. Good morning, I'm Rock 107's Prospector. It looked like a lock just a few days ago. The Phillies were dominating the first two games of the ALCS, but then the series tightened up, and now the Diamondbacks are moving on. Seawall to strike away. Here he comes. Cave, a fly ball to right field. Over is Carroll. He's got it! And the Arizona Diamondbacks are headed to the World Series! The Diamondbacks have won the National League pennant, and the Fall Classic will return to the desert. Yeah, the Arizona Diamondbacks have gone from wild card team to a World Series team after beating the Phillies last night in Philadelphia. The Diamondbacks play the Texas Rangers in the World Series. Game one is Friday in Arlington, Texas. Uh, my Yankees have been out of it since, I don't know, seemingly May. I was rooting for the Phillies, but as a Yankee fan, hey, at least the Astros are gone, too. Hey, as decided by you at rock107.com. We uncover the most baffling, ridiculous, pathetic, cockeyed, laughable, preposterous blunders in the world of misdeeds. Nominee number one. The hardest part about catching a thief is keeping them from running off before the cops get there. But this could work if you have a forklift sitting around. An auto shop scrapyard in Akron, Ohio, has been struggling with thieves. So when they saw an intruder in one of their cars on the lot, they drove a forklift over and lifted the car off the ground. 
The workers then called 911 and said they had a thief stuck in a car on a forklift. The dispatcher laughed and said, wonderful, that is the greatest thing I've ever heard. We will get somebody out to you. When cops arrived, they arrested the suspect. He had a backpack with sawing tools on his person as well. They asked him what he was there to steal, and he replied, uh, copper, to be honest, brother, not gonna lie. The man was a 26-year-old named Alexander Funk. Employees say they believe he had broken in at least two times before. Alexander was charged with criminal trespassing and possession of criminal tools. Nominee number two. It's amazing something this dumb could actually work. A 22-year-old guy in Poland is facing charges for stealing stuff from several stores in a shopping mall after the place closed. So how did he get in? He went while the mall was still open, got into a clothing store's window display, and pretended he was a mannequin. Then when everyone left, he got out and started doing what he did. There's security camera footage of him standing in the window holding a shopping bag. He doesn't look like other mannequins, but no one noticed. Once everyone was gone, he stopped posing, stole a bunch of stuff from a jewelry stand, and left. And he might have gotten away with it if he'd stopped there. But apparently, he tried it a second time on a different day. And again, no one noticed at first. That time, he went to a restaurant in the mall and had a meal, then got into a clothing store, put on a new outfit. Security spotted him when he went back to the restaurant to eat again. He's facing up to 10 years in prison. And the winner is... The thief who posed as a mannequin and waited for the mall to close. You are the yam bag of the day. And we'll move on to Friday's Yam Bag of the Week competition. Keep it here for all the nominees for Prospector's Yam Bag of the Day. Weekday mornings on Rock 107. Thanks for listening to Prospector's Prime Cuts Podcast. Be sure to catch us live weekdays from 5.30 to 10 a.m. on Rock 107 or online at rock107.com or the Rock 107 app. A free download for your Android or iPhone. Subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, or wherever you get your podcasts so you never miss Prospector's Prime Cuts.